Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So before we begin, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is shorter. I've had 13 inches cut off for the Princess Trust. This was about two weeks ago now, so I'm actually starting to get used to it. Um, at the start, I didn't have an absolute clue what to do with it, and I was a bit overwhelmed. Every day without fail, I wear my hair in a top bun. I literally just used to chuck it up, and now my hair doesn't fit into a top bun. However, I know it's for a really good cause, so I'm over it. I'm really glad that I did it. And yeah, I have now got really short hair. So I thought I'd come on here quickly before you see the beginning of when we first got in the house and also like I think it was about two weeks ago. So I did a small video at the start when we first got the house. I then did a video two weeks after and then I've now done a video two weeks after that. To be honest the second week's video was a bit of a fail but because things are happening so fast here I don't want to miss anything that happens. So I came here when there was no one else in the house, no builders, no noise, no nothing like that. And my camera battery ran out. So that was a bit of a fail. But like I said, I just want to get something out just to look back and see what it looked like the first two weeks of when we got it. The next clip will be an introduction from myself with very long hair, um, a bit dishevelled. It was so cold in here. It still is cold in here, but I'm kind of used to it now. Um, but you'll see in the video, like everything is bright red. Like my nose is bright red. My fingers are bright red. This is something that we can look back on and see how far we've come. So without further ado, I'm going to take you over to Two Week Ago Paris, who's going to tell you a little bit about how the process was, um, a bit about the house in general, how long it took. I am doing a separate video on the house just because it has been really highly requested. I've got loads and loads of questions. I put it on my Instagram the other day. So I will be doing a separate video about that. When I've got a bit more time, this is a massive, massive shout out to Ross because his work here in the last month, the work he has done by himself with the help of like other people around him has been astronomical and I am so so grateful for everything that he's done so without further ado let me take you around the house before i start the reason i've got absolutely no makeup on is because i'm having some sort of allergic reaction to my mum's painting at home and obviously the building equipment here i just think my skin doesn't like it there must be something in it so i've got massive patch of eczema here and all over my eyelids and i know it's just going to get worse because we've got a paint in here yet so that's fun but yeah let's get going hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so today, as you can see, I am in the middle of a building site. However, this is our building site, mine and Ross's, as we have bought a house. It has been an absolute minute since I last did a video, probably, was it Vegas in November? Which is crazy, and I didn't want to be away for this long. However, this house buying process was the most stressful thing I've ever done in my whole life. Going through this process, was probably one of the hardest things anyone should ever have to go through. I mean, they do say that it is the hardest thing and the most stressful thing to go through. To an extent, it was pretty straightforward, but just it was a roller coaster the whole way through. And we stopped going to the gym, we stopped having, um, we stopped eating properly, everything kind of went out the window. So, in terms of a schedule, there wasn't one. Before I start this video, I know I'm so cold, it's frozen in here, we've got no heating or electricity or water. Or anything I wanted to do a little bit of like a home renovation video it's obviously gonna have to be in stages but I wanted to show people what the house looks like now what it did look like luckily I took some videos of what the house looked like last week because it looks very different to what it looked like today so let me show you what our house looks like so you walk in and this is our porch area which goes straight into our living room. Obviously the stairs go up there. This is our living room at the moment. <laughs> we're obviously gonna get the fire out. Um, we're gonna knock this wall down hopefully and just make one massive space. Um, we've got big windows, which is really nice. And then go around into the dining room. So we've got all this space as a dining room, which is far too big for what we need. But the table we're thinking would go in here. And then if we can open up everything, we'll just get rid of that wall just have one massive living room. Then out here, I'll show you in a second, but this is the garden, and then this is my favorite bit. And then going upstairs, so you come up and round. On the right is the bathroom, which is actually a really good size. There's loads of space in here. 
and we're probably going to keep everything where it is for now just because it's easier and then maybe have like a laundry basket here or something then you got everything being ripped out <laughs> mirror this is the master bedroom you can then see like how big the outhouse is from here because it's massive and we're going to make it into a gym and then our garden which is small but <laughs> good for us and then this is the second bedroom which is going to be more like a dressing room um it's really nice because there's bungalows opposite so there's not really much to look over and there's quite a nice view over there but <laughs> you can't really see it and we're going to have our current bed which we've got at home now here and i've bought like a massive mirror so i'm going to put that in there and then finally this little room is going to be the study so we're literally just going to put a desk there so now we've got all the electrics in so these wires hanging down are all of the spotlights that we're putting in so we've got three along here two there and then we've got six going in in the dining room all the floorboards are no not the floorboards <laughs> all of the ceiling is down um just for the ease of the electricians and the plumbers so this is what the dining room looks like now which is an absolute tip but we actually are getting somewhere now and this is all blue grit so these are the walls that ross is plastering sorry i had to change to my phone camera but it's fine we'll just deal with it obviously the whole bathroom's been torn out we've now got all the walls ready for plastering and tiling and then the bath will go along here and then we're going to have the toilet and the sink there rather than the sink be over here like it was last week we've also had some shelves made so we're going to have led lights coming down from these so like you can put your shampoo in them and they'll light up because because obviously you need that this is what the ceiling looks like which is actually quite scary i know that it's been dealt with like this is my worst nightmare then not much has happened in this room so far and then we've got plaster on these three walls this one we're not doing just yet because we are redoing the whole of the plumbing in the house and all of the radiators so that's staying and then in our second bedroom we've done one wall i say we ross has done one wall we're gonna do all of like up here because obviously it's got the old what is that called i don't know it's called something and then just going all upstairs, we just want to be really slick and crisp. So he's going to do all of that as well. So the house was a let house before it became ours. So the current owner lives in Spain and no one has lived here since April last year. So it was in need of some dire TLC. Obviously the old tenants didn't want to do anything to the house because it wasn't their house. So just everything needs redoing. Everything just needs a bit of a spruce. There's nothing wrong with the house. So touch wood <laughs> so far um, but I mean I'm just so lucky to have Ross and the people around him that are just experts in their field because it's overwhelming like this time last week I felt really overwhelmed with what had to be done because it's just totally out of my comfort zone and I would never ever do something like this in my whole life um, just because of the expense like how much money would have had to have gone into doing what we've done so far everyone Ross knows has just been so helpful so amazing we're just getting this done as soon as we can and i'm so grateful so i bought some paint samples today and i'm just going to try it out at the moment it's really difficult to picture what it's going to look like because at the moment it's it's just a building site and it's it's amazing like i love this house it's it feels more like our own now so i've sorted all the bills out and ross has obviously started the work on the house so now we're ripping out ceilings and we're like buying flooring and all the bills are sorted it actually feels like it's our house now this might be the last update of today um and then i'll update throughout the week with anything else that happens i hope that this is a video that we can look back at and be like what have we done with this house i want it to look the dog's bollocks and i know it will so i'm just so excited i am completely dawdling now because i don't want to put on some gloves and go in the garden and pick up things with spiders on them but needs must so i've got to go see you in a bit hopefully i'll update you very soon so a very different scenario now you come into the porch and you can see all the blue grit again as i said this makes it easier to stick to and it just shows ross which walls he's going to plaster so you come in through the porch and this is what you see for the living room the stairs have obviously been the carpet's been taken up everything's been plastered this is all bits that we're going to be using but not quite yet bathroom tiles i went to ikea and got a shoe rack and a dining table the other day uh which i shouldn't have done but you know it's here now our mirror for the bathroom and obviously radiators and plumbing bits and things like that 
This is the uh, kitchen sink, <laughs> it hasn't been taken out yet. Not much has happened in this room, obviously it's just a case of putting new floor down, which is there. The most has happened in this room this week. This is incredible. So this is now what the kitchen looks like. We are taking all the cupboard doors off uh, and getting them re-put on. Obviously we're getting a new countertop put on and Ross is obviously starting to plaster. That's where the tiles were and the wall was a bit shit behind when we took the tiles off there and there. So that's just had like a layer of plaster. And yesterday Ross did the ceiling, he did by the back door and then he also did like this L-shaped bit here. There's a lot of plastering left to do. I don't know how he does it but he is incredible and I just envy him so much that he's able to do all this stuff. So this is our garage. Um, it's actually really big, it's a really nice size, but it's just full of rubbish at the moment, which we haven't even tackled. So I'm gonna shut that door because it's cold. These are the tiles that are going in our bathroom. Might go by the bath, I think, and then these are going in the wall. We've got like maybe a feature wall that we're gonna have, kind of leaving it all down to Ross. But yeah, these are the main tiles that we're using for the bathroom. Excuse all the mess, but this is the flooring that we've gone for. It looks kind of brown on camera, but I swear to you it's not. It's like a light gray laminate that looks like wood. I do actually really want to get involved and it really frustrates me that I can't help. Um, I did take the tiles off in the kitchen <laughs> the other day. There's nothing I can do and I get really frustrated in myself that there's nothing that I can help with. He comes here, he works all day and then he comes here and he works till like nine o'clock at night. And he's just incredible. But I do really wish that I could help and I just can't. I can paint soon. However, Ross told me that I'm not allowed to do that either because he wants someone who is good at it to do it. And apparently I'm not, but he's never seen me paint. So he doesn't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> so you're coming up the stairs and you can see. So obviously everything on the landing has been plastered down the stairs. Every single wall has been plastered. I don't know how much this would have cost if I didn't have Ross because he is exceptional. So you walk in and this is now what the bathroom looks like. So we have a bath, which is amazing. And then the toilet and the sink got picked up yesterday. So that's being put on. These walls aren't being plastered because they're being tiled. The sink and the toilet are going there, but they're being boxed in, so you won't be able to see like any of these pipes. So we're having a bath that the taps are actually here, and then the water comes out of the overflow, so you don't have like taps you lean back on um, or anything like that. The two shelves here, and then they've got little lights here, shine down LEDs onto like your shampoo and that which is very extra, but I love it. Rather than a bath panel, we're gonna have tiles and then we're gonna have lights coming out of the tiles, which will look sick. This is the master bedroom. All the carpets have been pulled up, which I actually really love this flooring, but obviously it can't stay, but I love it. New radiators, everything's been plastered. Study, so again, not much to see upstairs in these rooms, just because not a huge amount has gone on apart from plastering the carpet up. But once we've painted and once we can put some carpet down, that's when this house is gonna start looking like a house again. And I cannot wait. Let me show you the outhouse because I haven't actually shown me yet. Just every time I've been here, it's literally been torrential raining and then I forget to go outside and show you. I can just show you from like a window. But let me go outside and show you because it is pretty cool and it's probably one of my favorite rooms of the house. Welcome to our outhouse slash gym or whatever we decide to do with it. Um, this space is massive. Look at this mirror that was left. It is so big i feel really lucky that this actually came with the house because it has heating it has access to water everything is perfect in here that what you'd need it for so we don't know what we're going to use it for yet we're thinking of maybe doing it as a gym if not we've always wanted to make a cattery and build one and run one we both love cats, so it would be perfect for us to do that. So right now, short term, I think we're going to make it into a gym. We've got the equipment ready. My ex really shows up in this camera. Side note, the reason we found this house because we weren't even looking on moving. Um, let me go back in because it's really echoey, isn't it? I'll put this in more detail anyway on the other video. But there was a lady who was selling her house around the close that we live on at the moment with my mum. And we wanted to see what the inside looked like because we're nosy, obviously. Who else doesn't do that when a house goes up to sale? So at the bottom, there was properties that you may also like that were similar in the area. Um, so we found this and Ross was just like scrolling through the properties and was saying, like, I'd like to get a house, but I'd like it to have certain things and I'd like it to have 
a big enough garden that I can make an outhouse with in the future and make a gym or a cattery or whatever we want to do. Found this house that was an insane price and it had an outhouse and the layout was perfect. Everything about this house was incredible. We didn't think we'd be able to do it. Like it wasn't a thought process that we'd even imagined because we never thought it would happen this soon. So I thought I'd get in here quickly just before Ross and other people come around this weekend because quite a lot hopefully is going to get done. The plumber is putting in the final pipes into the ceiling and then we can start boarding the ceiling up, plastering it, getting the lights put on and that's done. We're also having a wall built around this chimney bit that you can see. So there's a gas fire which is actually a chimney which we need to um, cut off. Then we're going to build a wall around this wall and then the TV is going to sit in the wall so it looks like it's floating. And also the whole of the kitchen's being plastered. So I wanted to get in here quickly before it stops looking like a building site because this is one of the main parts of this whole thing is it looking like this for when it is finished and we can look back and be like, it looks so awful and now it looks so good. Um, I'm just so excited. I feel like we're really getting somewhere now and we've come so far in four weeks. I am just astounded. And I say we, it's Ross, he's done everything. But there is nothing I can do. I'm not a plumber, I'm not a plasterer, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a carpenter. So I can't actually do anything yet. Also, if you want any updates, as soon as they happen, my Instagram is full of stuff regarding the house. Um, I've got my own highlight of it called, I think, Home. <laughs> Uh, original is I do try and update everyone as soon as things happen but obviously in a video is so much better so we can look back on this in years to come and think of how far we have come in this I'm excited to show you because now the reason I haven't taken videos is because a lot of things have happened like in the walls like electric and plumbing and things that you can't actually see but now we're getting into actually decorating and finishing things off now I can start videoing a lot more because you'll actually see the differences and that's exciting that's when I come into my own because I love interior design I love everything like that so as soon as we get to that point then hopefully I can do a part two and that'll be full of the exciting stuff in my opinion <laughs> but thank you for watching I'll see you so so soon I'm back now and I promise you that I will upload a lot more especially now I'm in the house I'm gonna use the second bedroom as my filming room and I promise to you that I'm gonna get videos out because I miss it I miss it so much so thank you and I will see you very very soon bye